Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Madi Torres Lee from VIM3DRadio.com I'm here to tell you that it is Thursday, we're getting close to Freaky Friday and we got a doozy for Freaky Friday On Freaky Friday, we're going to be talking about love There's a lot of people that believe that love is abuse and we come to that because here's what happened What? I'm going to tell you what happened on the Love is abuse that's what people believe. I think they've been listening to too many um, love songs, you know, with people in pain that sing really good, that make it seem like, yeah, you're supposed to be in pain when you're in love. And the reason why this came about is because um, every single year we do a cleansing of sorts on Facebook. And so this was my Facebook, um, my Facebook thing that I did to all of my Your friends. Facebook yeah. Uh, seems like I do this every year, but it is flowing much nicer, and it really is. I'm not doing Facebook politics and friends. If you have no interest in what who I am, what is Facebook politics? Face Facebook friend politics. I, that's what is that, it, Facebook friend politics. Face Facebook friend politics is when you know somebody, you have seen them before, right. um, and so you find them on Facebook, and then you add them into your collection of friends. So anybody that you've ever connected with, you have them on your friends on Facebook, and it doesn't matter if you guys don't talk, it doesn't matter if you don't call each other, it doesn't matter, the, what it serves is you get to see everything that I'm doing, I get to see what you're doing, and when I feel like, you know, getting in your business, I can see that, and the same goes for you. That's like a political Facebook friends, and people are afraid to unfriend people because they're afraid of the consequences that will happen. They'll think that right. people won't like them, they'll right. think people will be mad. Well, I unfriended all of the members of my family because I feel like if you're you my family good, good friends on Facebook you have my phone number you can always get in contact with me it is not necessary for me to be connected to every single person that I've encountered it you know that I have encountered in what I feel is my own sacred social media space I want my experience that when I go on my on social media that the people in my network that I know them and they know me that whenever I'm sending information out that they receive that information and even if they're not interested in it it does not come back rejected and what I mean by that is that you already know the people on Facebook or on any social media you send them something they're like ah, you know, and it's like, and they don't pay attention to anything that you put, and they're so, and I understand it's not their fault, because so many people are just selling all the time, every, every time you get a video, it's a link, check out my link, I'm selling this, look at my video, like my page, this like is the hottest single, yes, and you know what, oh, go ahead, I'm sorry, go ahead, no, go ahead, when you think about it, though, you just said Facebook friend politics, Facebook, really like messed up like my like or, or what I perceive to be my friends in reality you know what I mean like it's almost I don't think what do you mean they messed it up in reality like like well it, it shined a light on the there deficiency it is because it didn't mess it up that those right. friendship existed in that same way right. what happened with Facebook is Facebook really put the truth on your friendships it's like because um, the reason why this all came about this cleansing on Facebook is because y'all seen the video of the Kaiser story so Mike sends that video to a collective group of friends you know that I have and then you know you see people that you thought that you had a connection with you know leave and not say anything and not you know they're your friends on Facebook but what you're going through in your life you know is not you know they're not concerned about it they're not they're concerned about the things that they want to get out of your life um, the solution calls them Facebook suckers yeah you know what when you think about it it's like they suckers or even parasites like like a parasite like well for instance it's no disrespect to these suckers or Facebook parasites because it's just pretty much defining like the characteristics that they you know exhibit mm -hmm. because not reciprocating anything in a relationship but just sitting there sucking whatever it is with mm -hmm. information even just sucking away the it's presence, energy it's the, all hey, energy sucking away the presence of space in time because at the end of the day which was which was very evident to me even getting you know or unfriending those few that I did I, I even got some you know quality 
you know, people that I have no expectations mm-hmm. for. So, so in the, in actuality, in relinquishing and releasing with no, you know, no malice, no anger, no nothing, you know, God Just will love. bless you with, with, with real, real true people. You know what I mean? What's really interesting about that too is that anytime that you do a cleansing, you're going to get some kind of combat, combative confrontation and there are people that think that oh well you guys talk about love but you know you don't want to keep me as a friend on Facebook and it's like they don't understand it's like I love you here's my phone number you can call me anytime you need to talk but when it comes to my space on my social media allow me to have it be what I want it to be and what I want it to be is a network of people that I'm truly connected with not people that are just kind of you know, and it's nothing personal. It's not. I well, the reality of our Facebook, baby, my space is, differently. The reality of our Facebook is that it truly is a business directory. Yes. For us, that's what's so interesting about all of this. And it's no disrespect to anyone. It's just having an understanding. The people that I, you know, have on my Facebook, most, you know, nine times out of ten, well, those that are on there now, really, we have a history and we we talk. Mm-hmm. You know, you but, communicate. But 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 then the ones that come on that are new, you know. You know, new um, friends. Mm-hmm. Really, they just new associates that right. I just you know come to learn about. You know, we're we're developing relationships. Right. You know what I mean? So, uh, in a in a business sense, Absolutely. you know what I mean. So it's sad when you think about it. That's why I said they are like Facebook parasites because mm-hmm. they just want to exist and they just want to suck off of whatever it is. And our topic for the show on Freaky Friday is. Well, one of the many topics, because y'all know what happens. I ain't having nobody society. sucking on me. But we're ain't talking no about me. love, and we're talking about how love doesn't hurt. And people think that because we are expressing love, that that means that we don't stand firm in what we want for ourselves. So loving myself comes before anything, because in order for me to be able to express love, I have to be love. So I have to create my space. I'm the co-creator of my life. So that means that every situation of my life that I can control I do so you know for the betterment of my vibration I need to be in a high vibration because we are moving to another dimension and I'm getting ready for that so the people that I've released I released you in love you know what I'm saying I wrote this note you know that I wrote to everybody because I wanted to do that for myself because I know that my intentions and my actions are all in love I understand where people are and I understand people have busy lives and they don't have time and I respect that and because I respect that you know I release you from any obligation that you have to a friendship that doesn't exist anyway and I love you still and anyone who is interested in really if you knew me from the past and you want to rekindle or whatever it is I'm always open you know that's the way love is but I will not allow you know for any expectations to be put in my life and for people to tell me oh you're doing Facebook politics no I'm not I'm doing me and that's what I'm going to continue to do. And I'm doing, doing that, business, I'm doing that business, with love. We are on air every Monday and Friday live at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time at VIM3DRadio.com. Um, the, and it is so funny because we have so many friends on Facebook. They don't even know what we do. You know, they've never even looked at the profile to see what we do. They're just busy, oh, sending us links well, and well, telling us to go here and go there. I mean, Mark Zuckerberg at yeah. the end of the day. You know, if you're really not using your Facebook productively, you know, in some way, shape, form, or fashion, I assume, you know, people feel like, you know, just being on there and existing, you know, is something good for them. But, you know, if it's not being purposeful, you know, your time is being, he making money off you. At the end of the day, he making money off you. And all so, of that energy, all of the know, drama that goes on. Like you being pimped. <clears throat> all of that, all of that stuff that goes on on Facebook. Because like people have to stop taking that personal. You know, if you have a friend that you <laughs> care about, call them. Visit them. This Facebook stuff is great for connections. And there are plenty of people that I've met online that I absolutely love and adore. They really are truly my family. But these people, I call them. We talk. We don't have to be connected on Facebook. We are connected in life. So if I choose to relieve you of my space don't take offense to it don't take it personal yeah. check out the four agreements four agreements is a great way to live life um 
Shout outs to Miss Smokey from the Smokadocious Music Hour and Ask Smokey every Wednesday night at vim3dradio.com. Um, and, and shout out to all of our messengers that came in, came through this week. Kaya Love, um, Sensei, well, Sensei's been around for a second. Um, uh, Ryan, all of the people, all of the, the, all of the magnificent energies that we've encountered. Thank you so much for your love. We got it, and it's right back at you. We'll see you tomorrow night, Freaky Friday. We're talking about love, because just because you love somebody, it doesn't mean you're supposed to let them walk all love over you. Love does not mean abuse. That's why I have on these gloves right now. You guys. I love you, but am I, are you going to let me, because I love you, you're no, going to no, let me, no, you're going to no, let me no, jack you up? No, you going to no, let me do no, that? No, no, no. Hey, not my class. I almost you're got good. him. But, but at the end of the day, guys, I got on these gloves. Defend your comfort, you know, defend your comfort. You're going to talk about that on Freaky Friday. It's worth defending because others will impose their expectations because of their deficiencies and lack thereof. It's not, you know what, again, I want to do shouts out to all those who I unfriended, to all those who feel that I have some kind of, you know, difference or discrepancy or a or, or problem with. You know, it, it is all love. You know, I'm thanking them for the blessing because in releasing them unconditionally and loving them and respecting their position, you know, they are allowing me to evolve and grow. God bless, no stress, forget the rest. I think Peace. he need a round of applause for that one. Don't give me nothing. That's, give me give me somebody to squar that's, with. That's what I want. That's his word. And again, Sensei, this is working fantastic. I love it and I love you. You guys have a good one. Adios. Peace.